Hi everyone. This presentation has been prepared to answer a common question asked by students. What jobs can I get with a diploma? It is my hope that this presentation will begin to help you find your own answers to this question. The presentation will cover how your course adds value to you as a potential employer, the skills you already hold and are developing, ideas of where to begin the job search and where to find local community organisations. We will also look at some sample job ads and networking groups in the community sector. We could first consider, what are you doing? You are all students of the Australian College of Applied Psychology and studying a vocational education and training course. Your course is one built from a national training package. Qualifications and competencies are recognised across all states and territories of Australia and increase your ability to find employment successfully. Training packages are built by and for industry. This means you are learning skills required for employment within the community services industry. Industry skills councils develop a national training package. The councils write and maintain a training package with consultation from industry experts, government agencies and the employers themselves. By attending classes and workshops and working through activities and readings in the online class space, you are gaining skills in time management, planning and teamwork. This is alongside practicing and gaining skills in written expression while preparing your assignments. You are also gaining and practicing IT skills such as preparing Word documents, navigating a website and uploading these documents. Some could say you are practicing the skill of patience if you've had to learn some of these things as new. Your studies may also be assisting you on learning more about yourself, about what inspires you and what challenges you. I imagine you could think of some other skills you have gained from your course that will be beneficial to any employer. You can promote your diploma even if it is one you are currently studying. Each module you study has set learning elements and these are consistent with any other VET course in the community services sector. And that's because of the way the training package is used. These learning elements can translate directly to skills and knowledge required in a job ad. So take the time to reflect on them and ensure you promote them to any potential employer. You can find your learning elements either in the first pages of the manual in the class space for each module or um, on the ACAP website and links to the relevant sections of the website will be provided in a PowerPoint of this presentation. So here is an example from the Diploma of Counselling module Counselling Interview Skills. I've taken this information from the course guide section of the website. The learning elements as set in the training package, cover points such as effective communication in the counselling practice and obtaining information about a client's developmental and mental health status. Here is an example from the Diploma of Community Services Case Management module, Facilitating Case Management. Learning outcomes include conducting case management meetings, developing an appropriate case management plan and managing casework activities and processes. So even somebody without work experience can draw on these learning outcomes and show at least an understanding of them from their study. So you were studying, you understand what you were studying and how this could fit with the workplace and you're considering the skills you already have and are still gaining. Now is the time to do some research to find out what jobs are available. You can get started by looking at job search websites to find advertisements for jobs in your area. This slide shows some websites you can check. There's Care Careers, Ethical Jobs, Pro Bono Australia and the Council of Social Services New South Wales which is known as NCOS. These are some websites that can be helpful to you. So not only do these um, sites have advertisements for jobs available, but they can also contain really useful tips on the community sector itself and job seeking. I've noticed that Care Careers in particular is a really good example of this. 
these websites are frequently updated, so it's useful to check them regularly. Again, um, I'll have links to all of these websites in the PowerPoint document that you'll um, also be able to find with the presentation. All right, so I've got a sample from a search I've done. The first sample is for the role of a tenant participation officer with Bridge Housing. A job is located in Sydney, in Redfern, and it shows to be part-time. You can read a description of Bridge Housing and learn more about what they do. And housing could be a sector of the community that you have a particular interest in. So even from this job ad, you might be inspired to learn some more about Bridge Housing. Make a note of the closing date. And you'll see here a description of some of the responsibilities of the role and information on the job requirements. We can see the first point is about experience with um, community engagement and working with diverse communities. So some of this could be occurring with your study. And if you do not have ex work experience, you could consider, consider volunteer work. We will look closer at the value of voluntary work later in this presentation. Excellent verbal and written skills, time management and project management may be built from your course. The qualification noted is a social work degree, diploma of community services or related work experience. An applicant with some relevant skills and a diploma of counselling could also be considered. This sample job ad is um, for a part-time dementia consultant in Bendigo, Victoria. Learn more about Alzheimer's Australia by visiting their website and find out about what they do. For this particular job, uh, the dementia consultant provides support, information and awareness about dementia and the services Alzheimer's Australia provide to people living with dementia as well as others involved in their care. Look over the responsibilities and consider what skills will be needed to work in a role such as this. Here is the key selection criteria. You will notice the first point is tertiary qualifications in a relevant discipline. Any course studied beyond high school is a tertiary qualification, so your diploma fits the criteria. Perhaps you have a provide first aid certificate. Would this be relevant? The next points ask for demonstrated experience and demonstrated skills. Notice the word demonstrated. This is really giving us a good clue that you need to consider specific examples of when you have used or demonstrated the experience or skills. This may have been during your studies. Again, a criteria point is excellent interpersonal and communication skills. There are also criteria points around knowledge and understanding of the aged care sector and issues involved in dementia. You could do your own research on these points and gather an understanding. So if you decide to proceed with the application, your application should include a cover letter and ensure it includes a response to each individual criteria point. It can even be done in a way where the first criteria point is a heading and your response to that criteria is a short paragraph below the heading. Make it really easy for them to see that, they, um, that you have what they are looking for. But are you concerned that you do not have the work skills these jobs are asking for? A way to gain skills is by doing voluntary work. Whether a job is paid or unpaid, the skills hold the same value. A voluntary role will also provide you with a work reference. So that's someone who supervised you while you were working and they can comment on your work. Go volunteer, volunteering.com and Volunteering Australia are some websites you can use to look for voluntary work in your area and also learn more about the sector in general. Again, um, check the uh, PowerPoint that I'll include which will have links to all of these websites. Start with your own community to get information about community groups in your area. Something I've noticed when looking for voluntary work is that there's not one set website where that advertises every single voluntary role. So it is sometimes about checking a notice board and um, 
in the community area or looking at the local council website. You might get local newspapers to look at. Um, also do a web search, see what's going on in the area. What can you contribute to your own community? And it's been said to me that don't be afraid to knock on the door of a place that you're interested in because volunteers are always needed. Now let's think about networking. Networking can begin as simply as just looking at some websites dedicated to the industry you are studying in. These websites may tell you what events are on in your area, changes occurring in the industry, and it'll share some real life stories from those involved in the sector. Once you graduate, you could also join the ACAP alumni group. You can, do, um, you can keep in touch with other ACAP graduates and find out about events and professional development sessions that are prepared particularly for alumni. There's more information on the ACAP website and uh, check my PowerPoint for a link to that, um, that area of the site. You can register to join a community services peak industry body. According to the Australian Community Workers Association, I'm, I'm reading from their website here, membership of a professional organisation is increasingly becoming one of the standard recruitment criteria for state and local governments and not-for-profit organisations. If you are retired or unemployed, membership will keep you connected to the sector and provide an avenue through which you can share your knowledge and expertise. So I thought that was a really useful quote to, to get an idea of the use of um, joining with a peak industry body. Membership will also give you access to newsletters and peer-reviewed journals with some current information about the industry. So the PowerPoints used in this presentation will be available for you to view, and I'm also going to include a copy of the script I'm reading from as a Word document. Uh, the PowerPoint and the scripts will have some links for the websites mentioned in the pr uh, presentation. So I hope you've found this presentation useful and can now begin to think more about the different avenues you can explore when considering your future involvement in the community sector. This is a sector made up of inspired and dedicated people who are committed to helping others in some way. The work done by those in the community sector is quite valuable and rewarding. All the best.